Hello guys, welcome to how to slice a video. In today's video, really cool tip for you to print the hamburger model. And today there is a little trick here because you need to add magnets into your 3D print. How to do that? Let's see today. The first thing you need to do is to slice the first time everything together. If you are going to print the same build plate, but if you are going to print everything with different colors like, colors like the cheese, and the lettuce separately, that would be fine because it's different colors. So um, you might be using these configurations here. Okay, let's slice on the cheese first, and then we are we are going to show for every part of this print. It's a really easy print, but you need this this little trick to add the magnets inside of your three D print. Slice now. As you can see here, you can see the layers of your three D print. As you remove this bar here in Prusa Slicer, you can see that there is a, a hole inside of your 3D model. This is the place that you are going to add magnets during your 3D printing. But how to do that? You need to stop at a certain layer. How to do that? Here on Prusa Slicer, you move this bar on your right side and you can see this layer start to close your hole. So we are going to stop a layer before that. And then we are going to right click in this plus sign here and add pause print, M16, M601. Okay, and you can add even a message here to you to remember what to do here. Okay, so place the magnets, magnets. This is the message that's gonna appear in a 3D printer. Okay, place the magnets. As you can see now we have a mark here that is a pause print M6001. And when the printer stop here, you're gonna see the printer the printer stopped. Okay, you get you get your magnets and place right here. Press continue your 3D print. Okay, you just place that, it's just that, and it's gonna be just right. Slice now and let's see how it goes. Okay, this is the final sliced file. Now you can save in, into your micro SD or SD card and you can print that. The printer is going to stop here in this high here and you can add your magnets. And here for the other parts or layers of your hamburger, you can do the same thing as well. Okay, you slice first. As you can see, you have the, the same stop here. It, it, it continue here in your slice the file. The printer is going to stop here. It's the same, the same layer, so here we are not having problems. If you want to delete that pause on your 3D print, you just need to click that in that X, in this button here. Let's add, let's add a pause here, where you want. Here, okay, place the magnets. Here we are adding that pause in Prusa Slicer, and we are using the ND3 V3 SE as an example of slicing, okay? Let's go to the Arch Slicer and see how to do that in that slicer. New project, flash flash here, flash flash here. Let's go with and 3 v 3 se the same one we are using for the slicer. Let's open a file. Okay, you have cheese here on your arc slicer. And as the same thing, we sliced first. As, as you can see here, the same thing, you have the the same row in the, the same hole in your, in your model. And we can add go. a box here at a pause just that the printer the printer will stop here in this layer and then you can press to continue okay and for the other files of the same model we can use the same configuration 0.2 millimeters layer high fuel density 5% I will go with 10% I prefer like that okay 0 0.2 three three parameters and just just fine as you can see here, the bread, it's a little different, I guess. It's higher than the other one. And we will need to add the stop here. Okay, same thing, add stop, add pause, place the magnets, and the printer will stop here, okay? So that's it, guys, for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Down below, you can subscribe at STL Flix. We have this how to slice the video to help you in this process that might be difficult for someone for somebody that's starting here in 3D printing. So that's it guys, see you in the next video, bye-bye.